Welcome to HTML4 video series. This is part 11 and today we are going to discuss about images and generally what we see uh, in today's website a lot of places you know like there are images are available or certain graphics are available so what are they that happens actually because of the tag called as an IMG tag IMG tag is responsible for displaying the graphics onto your web page so <coughs> In today's world, like you know, we got a lot of image formats like JPEG, BMP, then PNG, and GIF, etc., etc. A lot of formats are available in today's world, and plus, our browsers are very much capable of displaying them. So now let's jump into the demo and see what are we going to do. Okay, so this is the basic uh, image uh, page we have, right? And I am going to one second. Let me go there okay this is part 11 right so right click and I'm gonna open with the notepad once I do that uh, next thing what I need to do is like I said we are we will be using the IMG tag so IMG tag and I'll be closing the IMG tag in between there's a special attribute for loading an image which is called as SRC source which means from where you loading the image uh, if you look at our current directory structure my page is here and my image is right here so I can simply say img source 3.jpg alright so 3.jpg and simply I come here and I refresh the page I can see my image uh, exactly the image is very much huge so it occupies almost the whole space so is there any way we can control this yes there is a way so <clears throat> what we can do is there are other attributes which are available to control it like height and width so we are gonna use that okay so here we go uh, we start with height height is going to be let's say 300 and width is width is going to be again 300 alright so this is the current status we have and now let's refresh the page you can see 300 doesn't look good uh, let's make it 250 um, 250 alt fs and let's refresh to see where we are okay so this looks a bit nice okay so we are very much capable of not only displaying the image but we are also capable of controlling the image next thing what we have is called as alt alt attribute alt means it describes uh, the information about the image so this is uh, image so I can write like this is an image 3 okay and this is my alt tag but and now I come here and refresh the page I see nothing nothing at all so why you are not able to see and what is the purpose of alt let's say I mess up with the image source and I give a wrong source I mean the 13.jpg does not exist in this directory agreed so obviously this is not gonna display the file I mean the image so let's see what it does so you can see like you know this is an image 3 this is an image 3 comes from this alt tag a lot of time it happens like the user has uh, <coughs> what can I say uh, connection speed very low so in that case the image takes time to load so before the image loads this guy alt tag uh, loads before that and it tries to explain like uh, what is this image is about and the same way Google also looks at the alt tag understand about the image alright so it helps so it is not mandatory to have the alt tag but it is always nice to have an alt tag uh, so the Google can trace your image and uh, if in search engine somebody searches your image it may show up right <coughs> so this is the alt tag next is what we have is called as the border tag border if I see as 5 and if I save and I go like this alt F5 so you can see there's a nice border around the image right so this is a ing tag we can do a lot of things and the last topic uh, would be uh, if you remember uh, 
while we were in the links what we used to do is we used to navigate to different directories and from there we used to access things uh, in most of the cases when you build a website what you do is you always uh, keep your asset separately like images then your pages then some sort of like JS files or CSS files all are separate and separate directories so if I'm looking at this image so this looks be bit kind of nice and separated so what I want to do over here is uh, not accessing this I want to access the images inside of this so if you remember the links tutorial then you know that it is very simple to go like this right so one and 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 two three four five and six and let me change that to three four five six alt you need to change one then two three four five and six let's hit refresh and see what we have got so you can see you know this is awesome you can see like all the images are you know besides each each other they have the nice border of five pixel around them and we have controlled the image using um, the width and height and they look very nice right so this is how uh, you can uh, play around with images in HTML I hope this video helps you in some way if it does then please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends thank you for watching this good night and take care